Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a old video I did back in early April. I think it was April 2nd. Uh, just want to make that clear before we got started. I did not have my 35s or my level on my truck at the time. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I'm going to show you guys something I learned from traveling these last few years pulling an RV. So, MPG is obviously a very, very sore subject because of the issues we have going on around the world. So of course, we can prevent some of it, but we won't go down that political path on this video. So, one thing I've done was I've noticed when I'm behind 18 wheelers, they will do this like weird thing. You know, they'll kind of speed up a little bit and then they'll slow down. Now, normally when they're speeding up, they're either going downhill or they're just on a, a good flat land and they're about to hit a grade. And so in this video, I'm going to test that theory. So I just got fuel, filled all the way back up and I've only driven 0.1 miles. So really quickly, I need to make a quick clarification in this video. I'm probably gonna mention it later on, but I said that I was getting about 9.4 on the same drive, but it was actually like closer to 8.4 to 8.7. And it's not a long drive, but it's really hilly. And typically when I was taking this route, it was always about 8.4 to about nine tops. But just wanted to make that clarification in the video. Now here are a few things to consider. I didn't go over this in another video, but I think one of my viewers pointed it out. So right now, I'm in full exhaust brake. Actually, I'm in automatic exhaust brake. And I'm in tow haul mode. Now, when I get up to highway speeds, I always turn off my tow haul mode. Unless I'm going up some steep grades or going down some steep grades and there's a lot of traffic. So there's a few instances where I'll keep it on if I'm just cruising and that's typically if I'm like in a lot of stop and go traffic but for the most part like on a day like this it's 340 on a Saturday I don't have to worry too much about being in tow haul mode so I'm going to turn that off right now sometimes I've noticed when I'm cruising at 65 miles an hour my truck will not shift out of fifth gear and so as you know the lower you are in your rpms that's going to really drastically affect your fuel mileage. So you really want to make sure you're in six gear. So right now, if you hit the minus sign here, it'll turn it on. And you can see I'm showing six of six. So I'm in six gear and I'm at a, just under 1500 RPMs. That's where you want to be at. I'm only going about 59, 60 miles an hour. So here's what my instant is saying. My instant is saying 11 to 12, all right? Now it's going up now because I'm not giving the truck any throttle, but we're gonna see if I can coast going down the hills and then gain speed only to give it back to my fuel mileage. I'll explain a little bit more when we get to some good roads, all right? Now if you see my current MPG, I'm at five MPG. So what I did was I kept my cruise control on and I basically allow the truck to go up and down the hill, right? So here's what I'll tell you. If you really are trying to save money, especially if you want to still go camping or if you do hot shotting, you just started. I'm sure a lot of experienced hot shotters will probably have a lot of say in the comment section about this. Do not use cruise control if you're trying to get better fuel economy. Cruise control will destroy you. I learned that a couple years ago. When you're in cruise control, the truck doesn't know there's an incline coming. So once you hit that incline, you're gonna lose about three to five miles an hour. So now your truck's gonna downshift and it's going to try to get you back up to speed. And that's what you don't want to happen. You really do not want the truck to pick up speed going up a hill because you're just gonna rob yourself of fuel economy. So what I would recommend is if you are on roads like this, so here, let me put it back in cruise control. And so we're about to go up another incline. So watch this. So the truck's losing a little bit of miles per hour. This is not a big one actually, but there it is. The truck's accelerating and I'm getting six miles to the gallon, all right? So that's what I wanted to show you. So here's what you're gonna do. 
one last thing I almost forgot to mention it so here is where I'm at currently on fuel mileage I'm at 8.8 .8 at 6.6 .6 miles so like I said so far I've just allowed the truck to pretty much do all the driving for me so I'm going up a little bit of an incline again trucks accelerating a little bit the instant showing six mpg currently so keep those numbers in mind because i'm going to show you something this is really helpful it helped me tremendously in the last video that you guys saw when i did my thousand mile trip so hang tight i'm going to find a place to do it so here we go all right so there's a little bit of an incline i'm actually only going 63 miles an hour so watch this so i'm going up the incline right now now you see my speed i'm losing a little bit of speed to go up this incline but do you see my current MPG? I'm going 59 miles an hour, which I'm still like five miles over the speed limit. But I never lost any like MPG basically going up that because I allowed myself to lose some speed, right? To go up the hill. So now I'm going back down the hill. Now I'm getting 14. Now I want to get back up to 65 again. So what I'm doing basically is I'm not losing any mpg getting up more speed because i'm taking it slow so now i'm going up another a little bit of a grade and check this out it's a little great actually it's not that big i'm losing a little bit of speed but look at my current i'm able to stay a little bit ahead of the curb here and i'm not going too slow so this is really helpful when you're just on these types of roads and it allows you to run at a little bit higher mpg uh, it, it does take a little bit more you know out of you because you're doing that constantly and you know sometimes in a lot of cases if you have slow cars ahead of you uh, what will happen is you'll, you'll have to use some more acceleration to keep you above the speed that you need to be at so I try to allow myself at least five to ten miles per hour so I can like get back down to the speed limit so here's a bigger incline so here we go I'm gonna lose a little bit of speed. I'm going too slow right now, but just to give you an example of what I'm talking about, see that? I'm not losing any miles per gallon going up this incline, but to this point, you're gonna be going a little too slow if you're going at the speed limit. So it's harder to do this when you're going too slow. So I would always recommend, if you're gonna do this, try to keep your speed at least five miles above the speed limit. And sometimes you will have to accelerate, but you still gain some MPG by not cruise controlling up and down, you know, grades. Because when you're going down the grade, now the truck's downshifting, and now you're going to lose some of that miles per hour. So just keep that in mind. Now, so far on this drive, I'm pretty much about where I end off at. So just, again, this is just something to really keep in mind. I'm already at this miles per gallon I normally get on this round trip and and then on some of the parts of this road it does get flat but it is really hilly like it's like this the entire trip I'm going way too slow so I'm going to actually speed back up a little bit I was going slow because the car just turned off and I had to slow down but I'm gonna get back up to 60 I'm gonna get back up to 60 so I'm accelerating right now you see where my MPG is I have the throttle probably maybe 10%. I'm kind of going downhill a little bit. There's a small incline coming up here. I'm going to back a little bit off the throttle. I don't mind losing a little bit of miles per hour. I'm going 60, so I'm still going 5 over the speed limit, so I'm good. Now I'm going to go ahead and get that speed again. My current MPG still doing good. So this is pretty much how you get that MPG up when you're traveling. I mean, right now, I mean, I'm paying $5 per gallon on diesel. And it's very important to me now to go 65 because in the past, I would go 70, 73 miles an hour if it's like a day like this. But for the most part, because of how expensive it fuel is, I'm trying to save a little bit too. So this is going to hopefully help some people out there, especially if you're new to towing. And like I said, I learned it from truckers just going down a road because every time I was stuck behind a truck driver, I noticed that they were slowing down going up the grades and then when they were going down the grade, they were speeding back up. And when I was doing it with them, I wasn't losing a lot of MPG. So that's just something to keep in mind if you are, you know, towing for the first time. But like I said, I'll check back in a few more times and it will pretty much end this video. 
I guess I should show proof that I'm actually pulling a trailer today too, huh? <laughs> I guess that might be important to some guys. So there is a 40 foot trailer, about 14,500 pounds, give or take, hooked up to this Ram 3500. All right, so we're getting ready to get up on a nice incline. I'm at 65 miles an hour. I'm about, I'm between eight and nine MPG. Like I said, this road is going uphill a good bit. So let me get back up to 65. Actually, I may not be able to. So we're about to hit the grade. So here we go. And the goal here is not to lose too much speed too. So you still want to try to, you know, not be going 35 miles an hour on the road. So once you get to a point where you're at a speed a little too slow, like I'll probably do it about 52 miles an hour. I'll probably start accelerating again. Right there. All right, cool. So now, you know, I'll get back up to speed a little bit. You know, and then I'm gonna let the truck kind of ease back into, you know, six gear. Got a little bit of a decline, so I want to try to pick up some speed again because I'm about to go back up again. All right, so nine mpg at sixty. All right, so going back up again. I'm running about eight to nine, 55. And I'm about to be at the top of the, you know, that incline again. And now we're gonna go back down. So, like I said, it is a lot of work, but I do know that when you do this, you can help yourself save a few bucks at the pump, so. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions down below. I do know some of you guys have a really good footing on a lot of trucking stuff and I learned a lot from you, but I thought that this might be helpful for some people who might be getting into hot shot. But I will definitely check in one last time. So 9.4, my goal is 10 and a half. Now notice as I'm losing some speed here, I'm still maintaining double digit MPG. That's the goal for me is to try to stay above 10 miles to the gallon. And I'm gonna to start to increase my speed and I'm still maintaining double digit MPG. It's always a good idea to stay on this screen as you travel if you wanna get the best MPG. Now, if you look at my screen and my uh, cluster in the top right hand corner, I have my turbo PSIs there. That's something else that's very helpful to get better fuel economy when you're towing your trailer. Alrighty, so we have pretty much made it to our destination. 10.3. So I got basically an MPG better compared to what I did just what maybe a year or so ago, last time I drove this road, I think I was getting like more like closer to nine, maybe 8.9 on this road, because I don't remember being even in the nines, but for the most part, you know, getting 10.3 on a very hilly road is really good. I mean, it's 55 degrees outside. If it was probably 10 degrees warmer, I think I could have got a little bit better than this. You know, having warmer air with the diesel is, is huge. So just keep that in mind, but I hope this was helpful. We are pretty much staying at our next campground, Round Top. And so yeah, we'll probably be in Maryland for a few months and then we're probably gonna hit the road if you haven't watched yet. <sighs> I lost my job, unfortunately, so I'm gonna be doing YouTube full time now. So hopefully you guys don't get tired of me. See you soon.